applications often depends on different layouts for both phone and tablet. So in this tutorial, we'll cover how we can use a layout for a phone and a different layout for a tablet. So stay tuned. Get a free full month of Skillshare and stream more than 18,000 online classes on subjects like design, business and tech. After a while, if you feel like this isn't for you, you can always cancel a subscription and not pay anything. So don't wait, try it out now. The link is in the description. So this application will be a very simple layout. So we will just use a grid view. So depending if you are having a phone or layout, we will display the, uh, different amount of uh, items in a horizontal view. So let's start by creating our phone layout. So just right now we're just returning a container. So let's just change this and return a build phone uh, grid view. So let's create this method. Uh, so this method will return a grid view and we will use the grid view.count constructor. Uh, so with this, we will just set the grid axis count to two, which will display two boxes in the horizontal view. And we will, as, as the children, we will just use the list.generate to generate 100 different items with an index. And we will have a card. So inside this container of the card, we can have a alignment center. This is just the center of everything, so the text of the the container will be in the center. Uh, and this code will just use, depending on the index, we will have a different version of teal. And a new text, which will be the grid item. Uh, so if we save that, we can see that we have our grid view. But this is nothing special. If you would show this on an iPad or a tablet, uh, these boxes would be really big because there will only be two covering the horizontal view of a, a big tablet. So inside this build method, we can declare two variables. So final, uh, it's important that you have finals because this won't be changed. So uh, what we can do is we can compare the shortest side. So what I mean with comparing the shortest side is that if the shortest side is uh, less than 600, uh, and this is a common breaking point for tablets at seven inch. So if you have a, a side of less than 600, uh, this will indicate that it's a mobile layout. And I will link an article down below also that will explain all this. So now we can, depending on this uh, Boolean, uh, we can display different layouts. So if we are on a mobile layout, we will display the phone grid view. And if we are not on a um, mobile layout, we will display a tablet view. So let's just create this tablet view, which is here. It will be exactly the same as the phone grid, so you can just copy that down below. And I just changed the cross axis count to, to four. Uh, so I'll use cat to when I have the tablet up. So here we can see our tablet view. So instead of using our cross axis count two, so instead of having two items in the horizontal view, we can see that we are having four items. So we are building a tablet uh, grid view. So right now, use uh, mobile layout is false. That's why we're using the tablet grid view. So for the next step, we can see if we would switch this. We're still using four items in the uh, horizontal grid if we are uh, turning our device over. So for the next step is that we check uh, the orientation of the phone or tablet. So let's start by adding another final variable. So this final variable is a orientation uh, type. We'll just call it orientation and take the media query of context and select orientation. So now we have a variable with the orientation. So this will be either landscape or portrait. And let's just pass those into uh, our build phone grid view. Uh, so what we'll use this for is that instead of having two, we can check our orientation. And if the orientation is portrait, we will display two. And if, uh, or else if it's in landscape, we'll display three. Uh, three. So let's just copy that into our tablet so we don't have to restart the device. So it's the same again. So we pass in the orientation to the tablet grid view uh, method. 
and we check if it's portrait we'll display four items uh, and if we are in landscape we'll display five items so if i refresh this so here we can see that our grid view in landscape is working so with this example uh, we can see that it is working with rotating it to get the la right layout for rotating it and as i showed before we also have a, a boolean to check if we are on a tablet or not so with this you can cover the most fundamental things with either displaying a layout on the phone and displaying a layout on the tablet so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you do please hit the like button below and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content and i will see you in the next tutorial